So now what to do for white if not knight d5 and not uh, short castle? It's a hard question how to improve the position. Uh, and if white don't do anything, we are going already to play rook f c8 and bishop e6. So knight d5 will not be possible for white because after knight d5, uh, cd5, uh, rook c2 will hang. Okay, I will show you it here. Let's say white is. I just put some random move. Yeah, guys, uh, bishop d7. I just put some g3, rook c8, some uh, h3. I yeah, just uh, randomly to show how c2 uh, rook is hanging. Here we just take knight d5. And here after cd5, uh, rook c2. We just take rook c2 and uh, we are rook up. Or uh, knight d5, at first they take queen a5, again rook a5, d5, and the bishop d5, c2, rook is hanging. So here is our plan. We play just bishop d7, rook c8, bishop e6, and c2, rook will hang. So knight d5, which finished, let's see what's after short castle. We go rook fc8. Here we were laughing and uh, we were thinking even bishop e6 move is uh, quite uh, interesting. Just bishop d7, <laughs> asking opponent to go to short castle, and then we go bishop e6. Not very often we can see such things in the openings, but this is exception. The thing here is that uh, somewhere white will play knight d5 or knight b5, going to end game, and after queen d2, it would be very good for white if they could, could take king d2. So after bishop d7, white didn't want it to go short castle, but here not much uh, way uh, for white if not to do that. So short castle, rook fc8, we play rook fc1, and the bishop e6, attacking c4 pawn. Now if white plays a b3, we take a b3, a b3, knight d7. Our knight is going to c5, opening our bishop on g7. And if white plays rook b1, trying to go b4, again, uh, this is similar to the first section we have seen this idea. You can po uh, put the video on pause and uh, try to recall it. Uh, cool. Here we do the same move, queen b4. Queen is staying on b4, super, not allowing b4 move, and next move is coming knight c5 or rook a3, everything is super for us. After rook fc1, bishop e6, if white goes to knight d5, we are getting some equal ending. After queen d2, uh, bishop d2, knight d7 uh, is not possible. Knight d7 move uh, was only possible when our rook was on f8, so we had to go king h8. But in these cases, we just go king f8, and after bishop d2, we just take knight and we are uh, peace up. So queen d2, we take bishop d2, knight d5. cd5, e d5 again is not possible. Oh, sorry, e d5 is not possible because of uh, bishop f5. And uh, c2 rook is uh, trapped here, we are exchanged up, uh, knight d5, cd5, we take rook c2, rook c2, rook c8, changing the rooks, and b2 pawn is hanging, and here is the difference, after rook c8, bishop c8, if this position, our opponent king was on c2, it would be totally different story, here would be possible bishop b5 move, and immediately we would lose our a4 pawn, uh, this we see uh, so in the previous video, but with king on g1, everything is fine for us. Uh, this is around equal position, and if you see this is, if you think that this is dead draw, uh, here uh, in the next video I will prove you that it's not dead draw. There are lots of space when we can still outplay our opponent.